This is called card weaving, and it's one of the ancient forms of weaving. They found cards in the Viking ship, leather ones, and then in Tibet, they found rope. And when they analyzed it, they found that it was card woven. And so I just expanded on that idea and uh, decided that I'm going to weave uh, uh, long tubular forms. I just love to weave samples. And so uh, these are some of the things that you can do actually uh, with this uh, technique. When you're weaving a tube, the weft always goes in from the same direction, let's say the right, and then it goes under all the warp threads. And again, when you change your shed, it goes through the, the shed from the right side. And you just keep going and doing that until you finish the whole weaving. And then you turn the weaving over and you just sit and pull. By the way, Bob made this uh, board for me. Uh, and it's wonderful because it holds my, uh, my work under tension. There is a pattern that you follow. There are some excellent books. One of the best books on card weaving, I find, is Atwater's uh, Byways in Hand Weaving. Well, my favorite, uh, if you want to just learn to weave, is uh, Annie Albers on Weaving, an excellent book. Well, there you have a tube. You never take your warp off the board without tying the cards up because if you mess these cards, you lose the pattern. So never leave this without tying it. And then you're safe. 